In the construction industry, uh, we have found ways um, of dealing with asbestos over the years, and we banned the product uh, um, quite effectively, finding alternative use, uh, uh, alternative materials, even though polyurethane is then often criticized uh, because it has other environmental issues in, in using polyurethane. So we've, in the construction industry, we've found ways of dealing with it. But after this, uh, the 89 ban and then the 91 being overturned, from what I understand, there are only, there, that only five products act, apparently were ultimately completely banned, mm -hmm. and that allowed us to con uh, people to continue using some form of asbestos. So I'm, I'm curious, since the construction industry came up with alternatives mm -hmm. that were viable, effective, why hasn't, why hasn't the uh, industry been able to replace asbestos to be used in all other products? Why do we? Why in God's name do we still use this thing? Well, um, we largely do not use it. So the action that we took a few weeks ago is to ensure that any of those historic uses that were left out after the court decision um, invalidated our total ban. Uh, what we did was we took the 18 categories of uses that were still available should someone decide to enter the U.S. marketplace with them. No, no one has been. They are dormant uses. But what we have done now is close the door to ensure that uh, someone could not decide to bring back one of those uses um, for whatever reason they, they chose without coming through EPA. Can you explain a little bit about the chlorine? Uh, I, I need to understand that because we've banned all the piping with it. How is that involved with chlorine? So EPA, These chlorine filters, I think you said, some, some bit of mm -hmm. filters. EPA is required under TSCA to look at the ongoing conditions of use of asbestos. So you were asking, where is asbestos still used in the United States? not largely in, in building and construction, as you mentioned. You know that. But I will tell you where it is used. It is used in um, it all, all through import. All the asbestos that comes into the United States today is imported from other countries. And the imported raw bulk asbestos is used to make diaphragms for chlorine and sodium hydroxide production. It's <laughs> also uh, used um, in sheet gaskets in chemical production, such as titanium dioxide production. It's used in brake blocks in oil drilling equipment. So, okay, I, I, yeah. I, I can read that as well, but why do we allow that? Why are uh, we importing, why are we allowing imports to come in that are hazardous? So this is the risk evaluation process that EPA is undertaking now. We are looking at all those uses and a few more that I just listed. We are looking at whether these uses pose unreasonable risk. And if we find that they pose unreasonable risk, we have two years to take Well, aren't they an unreasonable action. risk? If we don't allow our American manufacturers to do it, why would we let a foreign manufacturer do it? Well, the, these are American companies importing these, um, this raw asbestos for these limited industrial uses. Well, you've opened up a can of worms here with that. Um, so let me just say, um, uh, maybe following back up again with uh, what Shimkus was uh, raising on his questioning, and I've got just a minute left on it. Uh, can you follow up more on the importance of following the procedures outlined under TOSCA when considering future actions? I'd like to understand more of that aspect of it. Well, what, what I hear from you, Representative, is a great concern about these remaining uses of asbestos. And so the process that we are following is that by the end of this year, we will complete a risk evaluation of any risk that we identify under these uses in the chlorine manufacturing and the other industrial uses. We then, if we find unreasonable risk, and we have to make that finding under TSCA, if we find any unreasonable risk, and it wouldn't be across the whole category, we have to look at each use, then we have two years to take a risk management activity. That could require labeling, restrictions, a whole variety of ways to get rid of that risk. The, the most significant way to get rid of a risk is a ban, but that's only one of our tools. Okay, I guess I, I, I've run out of time. On it. I'm just, what you're explaining to me is I understand this, I'm walking out of this now. 
you said American manufacturers can't ma can't make the asbestos product, a, a brake block, a brake assembly. But if they go overseas and import it, they can. They're bringing the asbestos in. That's incredible. Thank you. I yield back. <laughs>